Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, we will learn how to create a dictionary variable or known as custom object in Power Automate Cloudflow. First, I would like to read an Excel file which contains a table and stored in OneDrive. In my OneDrive here, I have a RPA folder followed by data and also my config file. In my config file here, I have four sheets and each of them is a table. Alright, so the first step here, we are going to create a cloud flow. Next, what I will need to do is I want to initialize the variable for the config file path so that this config file path will be able to assess it anywhere else within this cloud flow. First, I will look for initialize variable and I entered it as config file path. And I want to rename this as well. And this file path is where I'm getting from a OneDrive. So it will be, how do we know whether uh, the correct file path, what we can do is we can use dash RPA dash data followed by config.xlss. Next, we'll then you need to initialize a variable of a custom object and call it as config. And the value here, I need to indicate a O and open curly brace followed by a closing curly brace. Next, we will then start to read the config file and assign each of these key and value into our config variable. So first, I would like to add a container to make it look neater. So I will look for scope. And in this scope, I will look for get tables from Excel Online Business. And the location here, I will select OneDrive for Business and the document library I will select OneDrive and the file I will look for the config file path so let me rename this right so next after we get the config tables we will then need to check need to get all of these rows in this table so we will need to apply apply to each table and the value I'll be getting from the value here and in this step what I will need to do I will need to get the least rows present in a table over here location I will select OneDrive for business and the document library I will select OneDrive the file will be config file path and also the table here I'll be getting from the table name. Alright, so once we got the rows in a table, we will then perform and apply to each again. And this time round, I want to apply to each rows in a table. Over here, I need to select accordingly based on the header name here. Then I will get in the value. So double check, make sure I'm in the correct area. And then 
for each of this row, I want to check that this key value is not empty. If it's not empty, then I will add it to the config variable. If something like this, if this is empty, I do not want to add an empty records into my dictionary or custom object variable. In this case, I will add a condition. And then over here, I need to get the value. For example, I'm getting current item. It's not empty. Over here, there's no option to select is not empty. So we can do is an alternative way where we go to the expression and we enter empty followed by a open bracket and then next I will look for items and it will ask me to get the, ob the collection of an array or a table type. So over here I will open a bracket here and I will call it as based on the name I have here. Then over here, I will need to put a open square bracket followed by the column name. Is equals to false. So I go to expression and I look for false. If this is not empty, and then I will do an compose over here. I will assign it to my config. Sorry, go to my expression here. And I want to add a property into my custom object type. So I will look for add property, open bracket, and this time around I want to select config because I want to add the new property inside this config variable. Let's say comma, followed by items. Let me copy this and I add a comma here followed by the value. Okay, once I add it, this compose action will populate for me a variable called output. Then the next thing what I will need to do is I want to set a variable. of my config, the value will be my output. Then in order for me to assess, in order for me to get the value of application list, what I will need to do is, after all this row completed, I will create a new step here. And I will initialize a variable. In this case, I want to call it as application list. Look for expression here. variable config and then a square bracket followed by the key value now let's try to run this flow
Okay, over here, basically I added a double for path here. Let's double check again. Now, since this is completed, let me go to my application list. I'm able to get the value. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and tutorial videos on Microsoft Power Automate.